Easter is almost here. You know what that means. Tasty desserts at the family gathering. Judy Truesdale of Edible Spirits is here to show us a treat you can make in your own kitchen, a wacky whiskey pecan pie. Judy, that's a lot of alliteration right there. Yes, it is, but it's worth it. It, it is it's worth excellent. it. excellent. Yes, it is. I, now, why, why would we go with a, uh, a wacky whiskey pecan pie for our Easter celebration? Well, back when I was a kid and we went yeah. to my grandma's for Easter, right. uh, my aunt or my mom would always bring a pecan pie and I always looked forward, it was my favorite. So when I had Erica and started a family of my own, yeah. I decided to put a twist on it. A little twist this, at the wacky little, whiskey pie. That's right, so I put a little whiskey into it instead of just a plain pecan pie. Can I come over to your house for Easter? You sure can. Thank you. Yes. Um, <laughs> they always put, they, you know, we, we've had edible spirits on so many times, their, their stuff is so delicious, it's so unique. And they always have me talk to you guys because you combine two of my favorite things in life, which is pie and, and booze. Yes, and it's a All great combination. Yes, it is. Great combination. All right, let's talk about how you make this. It looks, here's the finished product. looks absolutely wonderful. It is great. Tell us about the magic. How does this all come together? All right, this is going to be one of the most simplest things you've ever made that doesn't take a box mix. Okay. okay so you're going to make it from scratch. Wow. All right, so we're going to start with the sugar and the butter in a bowl. Okay, got it right here. We got it in the bowl already. Mix it all up. Yep, we're going to mix that all up. We're okay. going to take three eggs. We have two in the bowl and we're going to crack one more. Okay. Okay. And all you're going to do is beat the eggs together. Right. You're going to put that in. Bam. Yep. Bam is it. All right. Half a cup of corn, dark corn syrup. We're going to put that in. We're going to put the pecans in. It's one and a half to two cups pecans. Don't overfill the pecans because then there won't be the filling in the middle of the pie. Right. Okay. So you don't want to put too many in. Okay. Then we're going to do the magic. There's and we're going to order, put in two tablespoons of whiskey. And if you used the Irish whiskey last time, on the last segment, you can also use it, or you can use a bourbon, either one. Okay. All right, so we're going to mix that all together. Now, the pie crust, do you uh, do you recommend that people go with, like, a, a store-bought or just go ahead and, you know, go all out and make the pie crust themselves? Well, you know, some years when I have time and my mom's doing the Easter cooking, I'll make the homemade crust. Right. But if I'm Nothing doing... Nothing wrong with getting a good store-bought. No, they're just as good. And if you're having to cook Easter dinner, you don't have time to make the pie crust. Sure. So just go to the store, get the store-bought pie crust. It's just as good. And actually, that's how simple it is. And all you do is pick it up, pour it in the pie crust, put it in the oven at 375 for 10 minutes. Oh my gosh. The, and you well, said no that way. Was easy. Yes. Well, it is. The, if you had a bowl with a handle, it might be real easy. All right. But uh, you put it in the oven at 375 for 10 minutes, lower the temperature to 350. Okay. And then cook it for another 35 to 40 minutes, depending on your oven, till when you jiggle it, it doesn't jiggle in the middle, that, right. which means it's set and it's done. Unbelievable. And by the way, if for, you don't want to give this a shot yourself, Edible Spirits, they'll send you one. And you can find out more information at our website, dailybuzznow.com. Click on the Rebuzz tab. Thank you.